Joining us via phone call is Dr. Uche Olowu. Good morning, doctor, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good morning for having me. Good morning. Now, doctor, um, yeah. let, let's, let's take a consideration of Lagos being the epicenter of this pandemic. How do we begin to make sure we address issues of forestalling for the spread of the virus as it is, as it is right now? Well, um, I, I, as it is, uh, generally, if you look at the, uh, how it has happened in other crimes, it is not yet fixed from what I observe. Uh, therefore, we, we continue to follow the protocol advised by the uh, specialist, the World Health Organization protocol. We have to stay uh, indoors and make sure that we do not have uh, uh, stay distance, keep distance, social distance is very critical while uh, helping us to make sure that we were able to trace, contact trace all that have been there uh, infected. Because really, like you have seen in Italy, in Spain, and in the States, it continues to go that way until it plateaus and then it begins to come down. So there is no other way that we can do but observe the, the necessary protocols that have been advised. Now, virtually all businesses are struggling with the unprecedented force, uh, extended holiday caused by COVID-19. And now, as the president of Chartered Institute of Banking Nigeria, CIBN, how is the banking sector faring so far? Well, the, uh, the banking sector is not immune from the global uh, happening. All over the world, you've seen that most economies will be struggling. But let me narrow it down to Nigeria. The regulators appear to have a firm understanding of what is at stake and have been able to put on some uh, policies and measures that will address now current state and post-COVID. Um, so the Nigerian banks are reshuffling their strategy and making sure that they will be reassess their risk and how to manage their balance sheet. Because definitely, we are, we are in for a big recession. And what does that mean? Because this recession that is coming is both demand shock, supply shock, and financial shock. And so that is, you know, a very deep one that we are, we are about facing, it's a big storm. But not to despair so much. I'm very glad and happy that our regulator, the Bankers Committee, does have a firm understanding of the big problem at stake, and therefore we tackle it accordingly. The most important thing is to dimension the problem. How do we get out of it? It may take some time, but immediate strategies that will restore the economy back is what is on the front burner for bankers, the regulators, and the uh, operators. Interesting you didn't make mention of understanding what the problem is. Now, there seems to be a, a gray area when it comes to the directive about banks and interest rates being offered as palliative to help businesses. Now, can you help us understand what the CBN and the federal government have actually instructed banks to do to help SMEs owing banks money? Yeah, you know, let's, you know there are a lot of interventions. Let's, that's why I said... The regulators, if you look at the policies that have been rolled out, um, there's some forbearance for um, the borrowers. The, they've reduced their intervention rates from 9 to 5%. And there will be massive uh, release of credit to um, the real critical sectors that will jumpstart economic activities again. Yes, it's true that the interest rates will have to, to be addressed by the central bank, especially so that the transmission mechanism of this policy will, have, will hold effect. So um, I'm much aware that something will be done in that respect. 
So at the, at the end of the, ex, of the extended lockdown post COVID-19, now what do you think the banking sector should be prepared for? What should they get ready for? Well, the, the banking sector, like I said, um, thank God this is a global issue. So you really, uh, the, the operators who put on their thinking cap are to rearrange their portfolios, their balance sheets, because you, will, you are facing recession. And in recession period, what do you do? We have to pump in money, allow credit to sectors that will create activities that will help us come out of this uh, um, problem. Most so, you, you know, the, for me, what this has happened, what is this telling? There's going to be a new normal. We have to rearrange our priorities. We have to look at those things that matter and areas where we can, because we're going to look at health, we're going to look at education, we will look at the agri value chain, and perhaps, you know, look at how we also manage the housing sector. So you see, freight will be pumped into these sectors to enable us uh, having a robust economy that we desire. Now, Dr. Ucho Lo, before I let you go this morning, what would you say are the Achilles heels that this, uh, this pandemic has highlighted about the banking sector in Nigeria especially? Well, uh, no, the beauty of it is this. Uh, you know, we have gone digital banking, so we were really not really affected because today, your pump top is your banking. So what do you think is that we will do more in terms of technology that is one good thing, because in all this, there are also opportunities. The opportunity is opening up the banking, uh, um, the, 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 the customers, to begin to appreciate the financial inclusion that we have been putting through technology. That is one. Secondly, it means that also we will need to have uh, changed our model to suit post-COVID. Because cost of it, we have new normals in various sectors. Identifying the risks and managing those risks is very critical for banking. And it also will mean that we will all put profit motive behind for the sake of the economy. So what, what do I mean by this? We should be able to manage um, the risk, we should be able to also scale down on our bullish um, approach to those sectors that do not contribute meaningfully to the economy. Right. So overall, you will see the banking system is just a reflection of what happens in the economy. So once the economy was well, that alignment between the physical and the monetary policy, you should be able to a, a, a great departure from the past. What I mean is this, we are looking to pump in credit to those areas that matter. If you watch what um, the Central Bank Governor has been you know, saying, we need to have interest of this economy, local content, it is very critical for us. So you will see a massive change of behavior towards these areas that will uh, give us that necessary mileage. Dr. Uche Olowo, President, Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, thank you very much for your time and for joining us on News on the Hour. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure.